Today I fucked up by using hair removal cream on my nuts. So, I wanted to shave my testicles, but I didn't want razor burn. So, I decided to try using Nair on them. Nair is a hair removing cream, it works by using acid to kill hairs at the root. Long story short, I nearly throw up in pain every time I take a step. My testicles are on fire like you can't even imagine. My testicles were literally bleeding so I called the hospital. They told me the bleeding will stop, but to use an alcohol pad to make sure there's no more cream left on the testes. I passed out halfway through doing this. I woke up on the bathroom floor and decided to just get the hydrocortisone cream and gold bond. Trying to go to sleep now, but rolling over makes my nuts touch my thigh and wakes me up in pain. Zero ten would recommend, thumb up, too long didn't read, I used a hair removal cream on my testicles and passed out in pain. Gorilla Glue is a shit ID also. Oh my god the video of the girl who ran out of hairspray stuff and used Gorilla Glue spray LMFAO. You sure it wasn't ball removal cream? Lamau, yeah, kinda ended up that way. I can almost feel the pain. But, did it work? The doctor told me to near my scrotum prior to the vasectomy procedure. I followed the instructions to a T and still got chemical burns on my gonads. Oh yup, did work, a little too well. I did the same, stood in the shower for a good 30 minutes just letting cold water rush over my sore fucking balls xd I don't think I had it nearly as bad as you though. Were they silky smooth? Today I fucked up giving the deaf guy a squeaky chair. Hot desking at work, so you're early in the same place day to day. I sat in this chair that creaked and squeaked really loudly, so I swapped it with another chair behind me. The day gets started and our resident profoundly deaf guy takes that seat, and is utterly unaware of the noise he's making. To make it worse he's on a video conference call, and is signing enthusiastically, which just makes the chair warble, groan, moan, chirp burp, and whatever cacophony it felt would piss the whole floor off. I tried messaging him but he's really into this call, windmilling his arms and shifting his weight all over this chair. I passed him a sticky note but he completely ignored it maybe because he's just and unaware of what's going on, or maybe my handwriting is just a bit too illegible, which would be my comparatively modest handicap. Now I'm sitting here wondering how this is going to play out, because everyone saw me try, and fail, to deal with it, and no one else is prepared to try. Now I just want to jump out the window. Too long didn't read, at work I swapped my incredibly squeaky chair with the deaf guy's chair, and the whole floor is too awkward to do anything about it. That fact that you're trying so adamantly to help signal to him that the chair is sounding a bit ridiculous shows you're a sweet person. Maybe you'll have a quiet moment soon to let him know. Good luck, crossed fingers, it's always a quiet moment for the poor guy. He knows. He's just fucking with you. Ignoring you on purpose. It worked. Note that oiling chairs is part of regular maintenance. Depending on the size of your building slash company slash whatever there's probably someone who is tasked with oiling, repairing, replacing chairs. This is probably more relevant in the age of hot desking since people don't own chairs and aren't as motivated to fix them. Seriously? Haha <laughs> there is no one oiling chairs or maintaining. Our bad chairs end up swapping for the ones in conference rooms. I know this has nothing to do with your post, but hot desking makes me so mad. It has been proven to have the opposite intended effect, reduce productivity and ruin the morale of a group. It's even been associated with high turnover rates since people start to resent the company. Let people feel comfortable at work, with their own desks and their own chairs. Absolutely this. Where we worked, we had your frontline agents doing hot desk and senior reps upstairs with their own spaces. It was my first real office job, and when I went up to senior it clicked all at once. No wonder everybody is so poor downstairs. The only good thing about Covid is I got to work from home at my most recent job, so that was nice. Not looking forward to looking for new work once the plague settles down. We're like a coal mining town but for call centers. 
First off, happy cake day. Second, enjoyed the show. Third, maybe signal him his chair is screwed when he's out of that meeting, or print something if you can, that's definitely readable. This would be my solution. Print something like, your chair is really squeaky. Could you please use another chair? I'll go tell the boss we need a new chair and that the one you are on is broken and making noises that disrupt work. I had that chair and moved it there and didn't think about it. My bad. Then go tell the boss that we need a new chair. Today I fucked up by posting my pickup line on r slash tinder. I had been talking to this super awesome girl on tinder and I had started the conversation with a really great pickup line that I decided to post on r slash tinder because why not. We had been talking for a couple days and were making date plans. The line started when she mentioned that she had the aggression of three men in her small body, and I responded with let's make it four men. I went to take a nap and when I woke up it had moonshot to the front page of reddit and I had an angry message from the girl in my tinder inbox. She asked me to delete it so I did, and then she cancelled our date plans we were making and unmatched me. I was super excited about this girl and threw it away that easily. Completely my own dumb fault, but live and learn I guess. Edit, the post unintentionally showed a cut off zoomed in profile pic with no face just her midsection, and her first name at the top. I didn't even think about it when I posted it. I messed up, and I gave my sincerest apology to her. Too long didn't read, I posted my pickup line on reddit and the girl saw it and unmatched me. Did you post her name slash photo slash identifying info? That I could see being a problem, but otherwise, maybe just incompatible. When I saw it the other day it gave me a good laugh. Was it worth it for you? Probably not. But I enjoyed it. Karma got you co-blocked. Almost ironic. Bro you felt the wrath of three men in her tiny body. Psych she probably also went through your reddit profile after realizing it was you. 